That's really off the charts. He blew it away, and Duke right now off to a 2-0 start, hosting the Bears in the purple. Duke in those new grays that they unveiled last week. The starting lineup is the third different one in three games so far. Vernon Carey Jr., the big man, starts the score. Carey, they can get to do a better job keeping the ball away from him, and now you see the pressure. Well, there's the big man for Central Arkansas, Hayden Koval. Alex O'Connell rises. Stanley the stick back and the foul. Simply couldn't clear out the, the, their own defensive boards. And Arkansas stays in the man-to-man. -man. Now, you see, they're man-to-man. -man. They're not really trying to put a lot of pressure on Duke. And that's what ties so well. Beautiful mid-range jumper back at the other end. Tough bucket through the contact for Ryland Bergerson. This early in the game, that early in the shot clock, he wants to be taking those. I think that plays into Duke's hands. Beautiful high-low passing right to Deloria. It's just used to the location being able to run there. Right, that happens a lot of times, and the officials tell a player every time, you know, you got to stay, stay here. And Duke makes him pay with Deloria. This event to his team. Duke 5-5 five, five, coming out of the timeout. And Wendell Moore on the bucket, the freshman from Charlotte. I mean, it's a good shot. He has not been gun shy so far. <laughs> Matthew Hurt drains it three. And they attack the offensive glass with Deloria. Trey Jones. Get His first three of the season. Moore on the shot fake. Back out for Hurt. Yes! Not only dribbling the ball, but anytime anybody catches it, they, it's like they can't get rid of it fast enough. Hurt with an easy two. Rips down the board. That was a long shot. And if that's the kind of shot you're going to get and take, it's going to be a long night. Hurt with two more. Points already. Part of a 19-0 Duke run. Nice flash to the block. And Cassius Stanley met Masai Oluwakari. And that Tar Heels team with Cole Anthony, who was just named not only ACC Rookie of the Week, but ACC Player of the Week. You saw him firsthand last week. Carey with two more. Jones on the lob and the lay-in by Carey. Saturday at Georgetown against the big front line under Patrick Ewing. And Koval, a guy who has generated some phone calls from the NBA folks to Russ Pennell. Can't stop Carey with two more. But that's the way offensive play right there. DeAndre Jones got hurt in the air. He gets the bucket and a chance at three. Ball screen off the wing, and now Kyle Lute switches on to Trey Jones in the mid-range with another. Deloria from Goldwire and the finish plus the foul. More obviously very comfortable handling the basketball. Goldwire is as well. Duke has dictated the pace. And it has been frenetic. More. And Carey follows. And he's just a guy who hasn't been able to keep as much on as they would like, but he is very skilled for a big man. Well, wait till he gets to be 30. That won't be an issue. <laughs> Stanley with two at the cup. Cooper on the block. 13th Central Arkansas turnover. Moore. Finishes. Uh, but Nolan was surprised by yes. it, too. Mike Krzyzewski was telling us that he hoped no one didn't know about it. And hoped that we kept it a secret as well. And it was a three. And it was early. He lost the handle. Look out, it's Stanley. With a lay in this time. The offensive flow you wanted to see from Central Arkansas? But there, more than one guy is touching the ball. And Duke, of course, is still all over him. Jackson Baker drills a three. Redshirt freshman from Phoenix. Let it go. And in a game like this, you're not going to have much time or room. Nice cut. And Goldwire on the finish. And Matthew Hurt. See, Jones just took that in. Again, much too far. O'Connell. Got it. Oh, boy. It's about a five and a half second difference between shot clock and game clock. Baker spinning on O'Connell. 
Got the roll. Nice touch from the redshirt freshman at the half. And as you said in the first half, as Vernon Carey keeps battling for two more. First half of this game, but their failure to be able to secure the defensive rebound really hurts them. That's 10 offensive rebounds in the game for Duke. Well, that's a good start on the first offensive possession for Central Arkansas. Uh, Duke attacked him on offense. Duke attacked him on defense. Kyalud with a scoop. His first points. Four other players in his starting lineup who are all in the ESPN 100. Carey missed it, but Hurt followed it. Jones has been letting it fly early. Well, interesting here, this Duke lineup to start the second half is the four freshmen and Alex O'Connell. And the first two games entering tonight, Duke just 12 of 46 from beyond the arc. Stanley stayed patient. Man, he has been efficient so far. Ryan Stanley was right there defensively. More attacks. Koval got a piece of it. Chatham ahead of the pack with a flush. But again, I, my guess is this is an unusual lineup. They probably don't even use this one much in practice. High low carry from Hurt. Let him get to that left hand. You just can't stop it. DeAndre Jones with a chance at a three-point play. Horse shots. Freshman out of Los Angeles. Off the turnover. Stanley. Oh, oh the scoop oh, and the score. He just hovered in the air. Way to the basket. I thought he left too early. This is a nice steal. He evaluates the situation and holds the ball in one hand. How did he stay in the air? Teen hurt with a dozen. As you said, four freshmen on the floor for Duke. Kyalud on the interior working on O'Connell. Chatham got by both Moore and Carey. Out of Sierra Canyon High School. Same high school, of course, that Marvin Bagley went to. Bergerson with two off of feed from Chatham. Kyalud drives and eluded Deloria. Nice finish. Jack White rises. Impact. I think every shot that Jack White. Cautionary reasons. A head to head collision with Aaron Widener. A floater from Moore. Carries himself very well out there. And again, he's a big physical guy. Bergerson, the off-ball cut. Now just two of ten from beyond the arc so far. Baker spots up and drills it. That plus he can order a double cheeseburger with an American accent. <laughs> Delorier drives and scores with the shot. Now that's a valuable time. skill. And as you mentioned earlier, even if you win that tournament, chances are you're going up against a team like this. For three. And you've seen it firsthand on this trip for Central Arkansas. They played in D.C. against Georgetown on Saturday before coming here. And Kyle the flush off the turnover. Moore saw the opening and finishes. And Lee altered the shot of Kyle. Extra pass for Hurt. Three of three now from beyond the arc. Bergerson on the inside. O'Connell took a shot. Took one too many dribbles in there. He got to get yourself in position to shoot before you catch the ball. Nice take by McDaniel, the true freshman. Very impressed. I mean, if they're going to knock down threes, then they're going to be awfully difficult to handle. Terry's got a slam. Terry Jr., Mike Krzyzewski was telling us this afternoon that he rarely played on the interior in high school. Turned around and lost to Nichols State. Just have to be ready to go every night. Out of the timeout, Matthew Hurt with a baseline jumper. A shot fake from Baker. He gets the bucket and a foul. Ball. 
And it's Masai Oluwakari, the freshman from Brooklyn. Really impressed with the way Duke came out, and they played hard. They totally disrupted everything Central Arkansas was trying to do. So that's it.